Video 3 of the Trailblazer League Reloaded. My second video of the series yesterday covered the first 24 hours, and today's video will cover the next. I'm at 7,000 points, 500 away from the next relic, and 70 toss or so from my final area, and I'm nowhere near the top page ranks at the moment. But by the end of today's video, that will all change. I'm sponsoring today's video with my own merch. I launched it especially for leagues with some sick designs, and if you want to go the extra step in supporting me, buying my merch is the best way. I've got a pack watch and troll face and DB branded coffee mugs, hoodies, crew necks, hats, beanies, and more that can all be at your doorstep within the week. So please consider checking it out at didabitter.com. Any purchase directly supports me. A four hour and 17 minute sleep or so, as you can see from the time we last logged in. Let's get our ass to next. 82 Slayer. And that is a hard task for defeating 10 superior Slayer creatures. I knew I was coming up on that, so that's another 80 points. 7,100. We're 400 away from the next relic, so let's get it real quick. I just got 77 agility for that shallow village step from it. Okay, that's 187 next done. I am 600k away from 99 mage, which is huge. 25 wizards. Dust step Reached level 99 magic, 200 point task right there, 7,300, the Bodhi number. 200 points away from the next relic, and that gives me another drop multiplier. I go from 3x drop multiplier to a 4x drop multiplier, so it is pretty huge. That is defeat a dust devil in the desert. All I wanted was the 40 points. I'm going to do the rest of the dust devils in the wilderness, obviously. 160 points to the next relic. All right, I'm going to try and get a card clue scroll done. Does it keep the step? It does. Boom! Gain a unique item from a hard clue. I got Sardom and Chaps, dude. And a hard clue scroll done. Wait, my treasure seeker could really give me a bonus reward casket. Pog. What did I get? Oh, Rune plate skirt G. Oh, you completed a medium task. Fill three hard collection clue slots and 15 collection log slots. Dude, I just hit 7,500 AFK. Let's go. At tier 6, you get the opportunity to choose a new relic, obviously, Equilibrium, Farmer's Fortune, or Runa's Powers. It also means my drop multiplier has been upgraded from 3x to 4x, which is going to make AFKing stuff like Artie really, really nice. Now, I was originally going to take Runa's Powers, but just seeing how OP Farmer's Fortune is, any single herb or anything you like plant grows instantly. No, it doesn't take a couple of minutes. Instantly. It literally says farming patches grow instantly. It works how it reads. Your plants will never die. I'm only really going to have access to a couple of uh, plots once I get Fremmy, but I'm still going to take. Alright, that's my Dust Devil task. I need to edit my second video, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go AFK Ardeo now or see what Slayer task I get first. But we do need to AFK Ardeo eventually. Dust Devils again, bruv. 85 Slayer, which means I can now do Abyssal Demon task, which will be huge. That itself is 200 points, and I'm sure there'll be a task for equipping a whip too, but I could be wrong. I'm nowhere near 85 attack though, regardless. That's another Dust Devil task. I'm just looking for a reason to go AFK RDO and edit this second video. So let's see what this task is. Ooh, Abyssal Demons. Slay. Oh. Slay an Abyssal Demon, 200 points just like that. And I think it's another 200 point task to equip a whip. Obviously I'm nowhere near 85 attack, but that got us to 7.7K, we take those. And that is another 80 points for defeating 20 superior slayer creatures. Very, very nice. I'm stacking it up now. A couple combo breakers coming. 7, 7, 80. Ooh, I got the whip. Nice. But I can't wield it because I'm 51 attack. 188 revs. I think it might be audio time. I'm just going to get set up ready to AFK audio for a 50 to 150 kill count. Maybe even longer. Who knows how long this video is going to take. It is completely 100% AFKable as long as I have enough for stores, which I definitely do have now. The only thing I'm worried about, to be honest, is my blood runes, but I should be fine. Ooh, super restores. That's huge for when we want to go do... What's it called? Our fight cave. Back-to-back -back super restores. Three more restores. We should be good to do our fire cape. I'm still AFK as hell, but that is defeat Callisto 50 times for another, what, 80 points, I think that was? So I'm at 7860 right now. All right, and that is 150 Callisto KC which is another 80 points. Very, very nice. I have to switch up my AFK activity. There is a 300 Callisto KC requirement, but I do want to be on the X5 drop rate before doing that. And my attack is still 51 and my strength is still 26. I'm still editing this second video right now, so I need some more AFK things to do. I'm actually going to go AFK my melee stats so that I can equip that whip for a 200 point task. 
There's loads of points locked behind melee stats, like full obby armor, the obby weapons, and some dragon weapons, and I can claim them all, I just need some stats. Ironically, the best gear for me to AFK in is also full obby and the sword, so I'm gonna have to go get my fire cape now before doing any of that so that I can access moral wreck. These meleeers ain't shit. Alright, I'm gonna need to get damaged on the next wave by the melee or something so that I can take eat this hit. Okay. Well, we did it. I don't know if I did it properly, but I did it. Survive a hit from Tzokshad without hacking a prayer. I did not do that properly at all, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Okay, and that is a hard task done for 25 combat achievement points, a medium task for 10 combat achievements. I'm going to wear this cape. That's 200 points. What did I just fly up to? 8340. Don't mind if I do. It's time to buy chaos runes, sell chaos runes, and buy a bunch of obby things. Full obby. 80 points right there. I'm going to use this to AFK train too. All right, we've got the 380k toggle. There's a bit of tasks I want to do here. I want to get all the weapons as well, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford them. The first thing I'm going to do is buy the Onyx because that's 200 points. Trade, buy Uncon Onyx. 200 points right there just for purchasing an Onyx. I'm not going to sell that back, obviously. All right, let's pick Palka the Dazar her. I was literally just complaining to 9-2 that I was dry on it. I did 227. The drop rate's like 1 in 197. Another 200 points, 8,820 points. These. I want these. Fuck, 75k off the mall. And the last one is the Obby Mall. We can't wield any of these things yet, but we're going to start AFK training our melee right now while we finish up yesterday's video, and it should be pretty good. All right, let's buy an amulet mold and let's make a strength amulet if we're going to go AFK train. Ooh, complete a medium task. Craft the ruby amulet. Damn, that's 40 points I didn't even know about. Nice. We have a strength amulet now. Okay, all the three spots are taken, and I'm not looking to get in a crash war when I have 26 strength. I'm just going to sit here with my ancient stuff for a little bit. All right, I am AFK editing right now, but I am about to hit a disgusting amount of points, I'm pretty sure. Equip a dragon weapon, use a dragon, or perform a special attack, that's 120 points like that. Equip that, that's 80 points. And equip that is 80 points as well. I just jumped up to 9140. Um, equip a dragon, two-handed sword is 80 points as well. And I think if I do that in the wilderness and the desert... I might get more points, I'm not too sure. But I just jumped up to 9220. And the obby sword is probably best to train with. I'm just gonna put it on strength right now so I can get the 60 strength and equip the obby mall as well. Just got 60 strength, which means I can put on this obby mall for another 80 points, 9,300 now. And 43 tasks until the next area. Okay, that is 70 attacks, so I can now go do the whip task. 200 points for an equip and abyssal whip, 9,500. Fire cape, sacrifice it. Yes. 200 points. Sacrifice a fire cape to access the inferno. Ooh, equip a two-handed dragon two-handed sword in the wilderness. Another 80 points. Ooh, obtain a gem while mining. Another task. I'm flying up points really quickly right now, but I'm only 40 tasks away from unlocking my final region. So I'm going to focus on quick task completions more than high point ones right now, because once I have that third region, I'll have 15k points in no time. Okay, and that's 30 chunks of granite, which is another task. 40 points as well. 37 until the next area. We can get there quick. Teleport to Edgeville with the Mage Bank lever. This is an easy task. Boom. That's the Fear of Fire Giant in the Wilderness, which is another easy task. 35 until the next area. Okay, I was just up here killing two burns with one stone. Mine 15 coal. Done. Very, very nice. 34 to go. Okay, and that is smith 150 iron arrow tips, which is another 10 points and another easy task. And 30 smithing as well. 
Another easy task and another 10 points for smithing 10 steel. Oh, wait, what? That's a medium task, 40 points, nice. Another medium task, I didn't know that was 40 points either. Smelt a steel bar, 31 away from the next area. Studded top and bottom, that's another easy task. I've just obtained steel rank. Oh, that's with 10,000 points, nice. And a maple short bow as well. Another easy task, 29 until the next area. Build a waka canoe, I don't even have to take it. That's a medium task for 40 points as well, 28 away. All right, let's do an easy clue scroll real quick. Easy clue done just like that. And did we obtain anything? Nah, just one easy clue scroll. Oh, and yeah, we did gain a unique item, the studded body F, so that's two tasks right there. 20 points, combo breaker. We're at 26 points right now. Oh, and it gave me an extra one. Come on, go again. Uh, we got a black plate body H4, nice, we'll take that. Mine some ore with steel pickaxe, what's MLM? 25 away. Medium casket, come on, give me rangers, damn it. Getting a unique item from a medium clue though, that's two tasks in one. Nice. We gotta pick a cabbage, dude, I don't even know what this place is. The fuck? Building a bank here on Fossil Island, 30 construction, and it's another easy task, I'm 21 away. You need a cooking level of 38 to make butter, oh my. I'm 18 cooking, 9-2. I'm trash. How do you spell it? Does it have a comma? Oh, it's there. It's all the way north, bro. If I didn't do that, I never would have found it, dude. Time to cook these rabbits. 38 cooking. It's time for a combo breaker. Enter Cook's Guild. 40 points. Nice. I don't know how I haven't done this yet, but hey, we'll save the best task for last. Oh, turn some butter. Easy task done. Remember when I unlocked Farmer's Fortune and I told you that farming patches grow instantly? Yeah, here's how that works with some barley seeds. Ooh, I'm alone farming, dude. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, we're cheating. Dude! Shout out Farmer's Fortune, dude. What the hell is this? Check a grown fruit tree, damn. What the hell, that was 40 points, I didn't even realize. 18 tap. Pan for an uncut jade, 40 points. Let's go. Yo, Ned made me some rope for 10 points. Bro, where are these hits earlier, what? I just destroyed it, dude. Where were those hits earlier? 1k she ancient wyvern shield? <gasps> damn it. Defeat an ancient wyvern. Boom, catch a swamp lizard or salamander, 40 points, just like that. I'm gonna catch 30 of them. That's 30 orange salamanders for another 40 points. 13 tasks till the next area. Ooh, 60 hunter too. Full grahak. 40 points, 12 tasks till my next area. Made, made a strength potion, drink a strength potion, easy task done, 11 more points. 11 more tasks, not even points. Fletch 150 iron hours, 10 more tasks till my final area, what? Good fight, defeat a wall beast, 40 points. Oh my god, bro. There's still a line, dude. What, oh, should I wait? <laughs> Yo, she killed it so quick, what the hell? Yo, shout out legit girl XOXO. Let me cut ahead of her. You're so bad. Ho <laughs> ho Defeat the lesser demon, bro. Come on, she's gonna let me kill the demon. I'm gonna, you know, come on now. Ooh, reach 1250 total level. That's a sleeper task. Nice. We didn't even see this coming, dude. Seven away from the next area. Yeah, that's 60 farming. Shit. Check a grown cactus down, combo breaker. Ooh, set up a U birdhouse, five toss into the next area. 10, 6, 40 points. Ooh, check a grown palm tree. 80 points? God damn, four toss into the next relic. Grown potato pack, just 80 points as well. Three more tasks. Check health on a magic tree and lumber, just 80 points. Two more tasks until the next area. Check health mahogany tree, check a grown mahogany tree. Nice, 81 farming, one task away from the next area. Move your house to Polna Beach, that is 300 tasks completed, which means I can unlock my final area, which is very, very nice. You've completed enough tasks to unlock a new area. My third and final area is gonna be Fremi. It has a lot of synergy with the wilderness and the desert in my opinion, and I'm now at 11,000 points, 
4,000 points away from the next relic, I can focus on speeding my way there with a whole new regions of tasks to do. Oh, use the bank on Lunar Isle, 10 points. No, I don't. Switch to the Lunar Spellbook, 10 points. Boom. Elite toss for 200 points. Damn, I'm over 11K, dude. What the hell? Moon Clan Teleport. Ooh, 40 points. Where's his lectern, bruh? Oh, there. <laughs> Law. Catherby, create. Ooh, another 200 points. 11,460, dude. Fertile soil. Hard task, 80 points, nice. 11,450. Damn, 80 points for completing the agil Relica Agility course. 11,620. Oh, you don't. Nice, 10 points. Rock crab, 10 points. Well, that's a troll dumb. Any cockatrice can get it. Sit, bruv. 10 points for defeating a cockatrice. That's a pyrophene down two for another 10 points. We're racking it up right now. That's defeating a Turoth for 40 points. Let's go kill a jelly now. That's a jelly for 40 points as well. Let me get a Kurask or a Kurask. Another 40 points and a medium combat task. Master of Broad Weaponry. What did I just do? What did I just get 200 points for? I'm so confused. But I'm at 11,990. Sup? What do you seek? What? Can I claim some combat rewards? Ooh, an antique lamp. What do I use it on? Smithing? Alright. 60k smithing XP. 47 smithing. I think this should give me two tasks. One for catching a butterfly and one for catching a snowy knight. Yep. So that's around 50 points in total. Not too bad. Trap of saber tooth kite, 80 points. I'm at 12, 120 now. I'm flying up the leaderboard. Defeat a yak is 10 points just like that. Use the bank on neat snot is another 10 points. Another easy task for chopping down an arctic pine tree for another 10 points. I'm at 12, 150. Oof, 12, 190. All right, this is the moment of truth, boys. Moment of truth, me versus the penguins. Let's go! We killed eight penguins in five seconds. I need some time to think about what task I'm gonna do next. I haven't imbued my mage cape yet, so I'm gonna go do that while training my crafting with the banker's note as well. I should be training my crafting at every opportunity I have, really. I was getting, oh my, I'm dying. Oh. Sag. Doing it. Zamorak cape, imbue a god cape, 80 points. 12, 13. I'm about to hit a huge combo breaker for points with Hunter. I just need to get a couple levels at Great Chins right now. And I catch two Chins for every box trap. Okay, that's 73 Hunter, so I can go do the Black Chin tasks, which are gonna be a bunch of points. I need 55 range to equip the Black Chins once I have them, so I need a good Slayer task right now. Neck reels, 156 Neck reels. I chinned all the way to 55 range, and I only hit the Death Spawn so I could roll off their defense instead of the Neck reels because I was maxing like fours. I think I only killed one actual Necril while getting the range level for Black Chins, which is pretty crazy. I'm just gonna stay here and complete the Slayer task before moving on to the Chins though. Necril's done. So the blue ones, right? <laughs> Boom. Dude, combo breaker, reach base level five and drink from the Tears of Guthics. Okay, and that is catch a Black Salamander, which is what, 40 points? Nice, I'm gonna go catch some Black Chins and go up a bunch of points. I catch double the chins, get double the XP, and boom, catching a black chin chompa is 40 points. And there's a bunch of tasks for equipping them, so we're gonna stay here for, until we have 500 chins. I'm about to hit the most ultimate combo breaker of all time, 500 chins. There's a task for 100 chins, 250 chins, and 500. Wield black chin chompa, oh my god, 80, 80, and a 40 point toss right there. Wait, no, the elite toss are 200 points. I just went up 480 points, all the way to 12, 9, 20. Absolutely take that, don't we? I've been off the top page this entire league, but I'm flying up right now, and it's time for that all to change. I'm going to do the one Jad and two Jad challenge, as there's some free points. Oh my god, bro, look at my <laughs> tiles. It's like Sudoku in here, dude. 
Oh! Dude, I was died right away, bro. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just Jad. Like, this challenge is just killing Jad. Boom, a hard task, 80 points. Jump up, jump up, and get down. And we're over 13,000 points, just like that. 13,080, right? Surely, yeah, nice. Is that 80 points? Tell me that's 8 points. Oh my god, 13,240. Ooh, steal from Gemstall, 80 points. Pick herbs. Ooh, oh, it's only 40. Pick herbs, 80. 13, 440. And with those two tasks, I finally hit the top 25 players in the entire league about 34 hours into the game mode being live. You can see my boy Pips at rank 2, Solo Missions at rank 9, and Bodhi's at rank 14 right now. So the chase is on. I'm not done here. Let's keep going. I need 30 snape grass for 30 prayer potions later, and I needed to kill a Dagonoth, so I came here. Got like one lamp, bro. For a blur. 38, perfect. Okay, just made myself 30 prayer pots, which is a 40-point task, over 13.5k now. 1kc DFS or uh, dragon limbs, maybe? Damn it. But 80 points for defeating a rune dragon. 13600. Let's go. Finally. We picked the summer squirk. 80 points. We're out of here, bro. I'm not coming back here. Fuck that. Reach base level 10. Let's go. Combo breaker. Craft 50 water runes. Nice. When? Oh. Right. Oh, wait. Craft 200 essence into runes. Points earned 40. Oh, I could have done that for anything, though, to be fair. Do one normal way. Cast the spell. And then use earth runes on the oh. Craft any combination rune. Craft a lava rune at the fire altar. Craft a fire rune. Combo breaker, bro. 13830. What the hell? 50 cosmic runes. 50 points. Let's go. 50 astral runes. 13910. 50 gnats is another medium toss. 13950. I gotta hit the relog. Craft 2500 essence into runes. Another 80 points. 14,000. Shit, dude. Shit. This is another 40 points, putting me on, what, 1470. All the way from rank 23 to rank 16, I've overtaken Bodhi, 14,070 points, and I'm still not done here. Let's keep going. Feed the Drainer Guard some stew. Time to do some Pura Pura. The Impling Jars never break with the Trickster Relic, so I never have to go get more jars, which is really, really nice. There's a task for catching a baby Impling, and there's a task for catching 50 Implings in Pura Pura, and 200 Implings in Pura Pura. Dragon Impling's in the air area. What's the task? Come on. 80 points. Catch a Dragon Impling. Let's go, dude. Combo Breaker. I swear I've caught 50, bro. There you go. <laughs> 40 points. 14, 210. Catch 200 Implings in Pro Pro. 80 points. Boom. Another 40 points. Herb lore. 49 Herb lore. Reach base level 20, dude. Go score. And that is the Varok Easy Diary done down for another 40 points and some more XP. 14,380. Use his own Herblore. 51 Herblore. No way. As soon as I got 30 uh, fishing, catch a Salmon on Karamja. 40 points. 30 Fire Making. Reach base level 30. 40 points. 14,460. And this should be an air battle staff created, which is a 50, 40 point task. Oh, wait, no, 80 point task. I'm a liar. It gets me to 14, 540. I didn't even realize. All right, let's try a spindle KC with only mage. All right, that was a four minute spindle kill, but we'll take it. 80 points. We'll take it very much so. 14, 620. And that is chaos Ellie completed. I had a really hard time with that, like day one of the league trying to do that. But I'm 300 points away from my next relic and 15,000 points. Holy shit, dude. We can do that now. There's an 80 point toss to cast a surge spell and the only way I can do that is on another player in a fountain of rune and I found this guy randomly while I was running through the wilderness back from Chaos Ellie. So big shout out to him. Bro, what a fucking beast. 80 points. Thank you big log popper. Okay, and that is 100 combat level. 140 points away from 15,000. Relica. 40 points, 100 away from 15k, dude. 
40 points from smithing a, smithing a steel plate body, 60 points away. I didn't get any unique. Wow. 14,980. Oh, short bow. 14,990. Willow short bow, 15,030. Let's go, dude. Tier 7 relic. Okay. It's time to choose. What relic am I going for? Soul Stealer would let me life steal prayer points and HP points, but I've already got Blood Barrage with the Mage Relic and I've got Banker's Note for prayer potions. Weapon Master would give me basically unlimited specs, but once again, I've got the Mage Relic and no real spec weapons. Berserker, however, lets you max hit on your first hit on an NPC, and the lower HP you are, the more damage you do. So that's what I'm going for. The tier 7 relic also means that my XP multiplier goes from 12x to 16x, so all skilling is efficient now, and it also means I get 8x the minigame reward points, as opposed to 5x in tier 6. I'm gonna go try and do DKs with literally only mage. Okay. Yep. What's the move now? I don't even get a top. Oh. Now what do I do? Ooh, hard task. Defeat the Dagonoth Kings without leaving. Mud Battle Staff. Is that a task by any chance? Probably not. Oh, it is. Hard task. Let's go, dude. Let's go. 15190. Mud Battle Staff came in clutch as I figured out really quickly doing all three DKs with Mage wasn't going to be worth it. Got me to 15,190 points, which means I've jumped from rank 16 to rank 10. Pip's only 1,000 points ahead of me at rank 3, and Solo Mission's only 500 points ahead of me. And I can catch them. I know it. Alright, I'm buying a metric fuck ton of bananas right now because I'm about to go do Mage Training Arena for some Infinity Boots. Look at this, I just unnote the bananas and deposit it into the food chute. You don't see people with a fire sale doing this, do you? That 8x minigame points comes in very, very clutch. Infinity boots purchased, wear them, 200 points just like that, an elite task. We're now at 15,390. 8.6k away from that tier 8 relic. I still need a fedora and a rune crossbow, and I have this elite tactic where I don't pray and use blood barrage while using berserker to basically AFK the crazy archaeologist. No way, I got Odium Shard too. 19kc. 25 kill count and we got the Rune Crossbow, which we can actually wear. 80 points. Gotta hook the boy Wise Old Man up with some Molten Glass and it should give us 40 points. Boom! 40 points, completed a task for the Wise Old Man. 15, 5, 10. I believe that puts me at rank 8. Fedora at 31kc, bro. We do need to come back from the Malediction Ward, but we're done for now. Let me pop on this Fedora. 15,550. All right, and that is 10 Draenor Agility Laps. I have no idea how I didn't do this. I guess the Greaves have been going crazy. 40 points earned, 15,590. All right, I'm gonna start working on getting base level 40s as well as a total level of 1,500 as that will be two tasks which give us a lot of points. And we're very, very close to it. Oak Larder, finally. 40 points for that. 15,630. 41 construction, nice. 40 fire making, just like that. Okay, that's 40 cooking. I just need to get 40 fletching now and get me two levels off 1500 as well. So I'll just burn some logs for that, I guess. Oh shit, I completely forgot about the 30 fishing. I don't have to burn logs at all. Let me go finish that up. 1500 total level, getting me to 15,710 points. Bodhi has snuck back up on the leaderboard, but it is all my friends in front of me. Bodhi at rank six, Solo Mission at rank five, and Pip at rank four. And I'm coming for all of them. And that is reach base level 40, which is another medium task. Only 40 points for that one, but we're at 15,750. I don't think I'm going to stay here because I'm barely getting any salmon. Okay, and that is the Lumbridge and Draenor Diary done for 40 points. 15,790 now. Herblor. 54 Herblor. Ooh, I had Protect from Mage on. It worked. 25 combat achievements. I'm at 15,870, just like that. God damn. And we got a Mossy Key. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just got 80 points from completing 50 combat achievement points. Damn. What the hell? 15,950. And that gets me to rank 6, overtaken Bodhi. 
Okay, it's time to make a big, big push for points. I haven't done any clues yet, and there's so many points for all tiers of clues. And with the clue relic, it is really, really easy to do clues. So let's get into it. Oop, fill a medium stash unit, 40 points right there, 15,990. Obtained a casket. Open it. Ooh, 30 collection log slots. And I got ranger boots. Bro, I just got ranger boots. <laughs> oh, shit. Fill five medium clue collection log slots and put on the ranger boots. I just flew up to 16,150 points. Like I said, I'm going to fly up points. Solo mission is within 500 points of me right now. Another casket. What did I just do? Gain two unique, 10 unique items from a medium clue. Another 40 points. I'm trying to fill 50 collection log slots, which is 10 more slots. So let's open this casket. Hopefully I get another casket too. Boom. Ooh, what just happened? I got a bonus casket, that's for sure. I got purple sweets, a miter. I want to say this all new. What am I at? 43. 10 purple sweets. Eating a purple sweet is a task, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's an easy task right there for 10 points. And we got a Sardom and Cloak and stuff as well. And green dehyde chaps and an adamant shield. How much are we at now? 46 out of 50. We just need four more. Okay, this is my second to last medium clue. What did this- Oh, it gave me a bonus one too. It only gave me one new piece, I think. Oh, nope. Two gave me two. 48 out of 50. Let's open this. Maybe it gets me to 50 out of 50. Does it? Gain 25 unique items from medium clues. That's a nice- Oh, and 50 collection log slots. That is a combo breaker right there. 15,360. Jesus. I just took over Pip. Ooh, what did I just do? Fill 20 medium clue collection log slots. Bro, I'm just printing. I'm literally just printing right now. 16,440. I think I just took rank four, dude. Holy shit. Ooh, reach a prayer bonus of 15, 40 points. All right, 60 prayer. Let's finish this up. There. Reach a prayer bonus of 30. Boom. Fill five easy clue collection log slots. I'm at 16,600. Is that correct? It is. And that is gain 10 unique items from Easy Clues as well. I'm at 16, what am I at? 16, 640. I'm tied with Solo Mission right now. All right, I'm going to do three caskets at a time or so. What do we get from that? A white beret, black cane. And we got a bonus casket. Nice. Golden chef's hat. Any toss for that? Nope. Damn it. Black pickaxe. What are we at? 76. This is going quick as hell. Ancient robe top, bronze plate legs, T. Fill 20 easy clue collection log slots. That gets us to 16,720. I'm tied with Jolo Mission again. I just need one more task. Literally 10 points I'm ahead of him. Okay, let's open another three caskets and see where they get us. Will it get us to 100 collection log slots? That's the big question. Gave us a bonus slot, but I don't think I got anything there. So we'll see. We will see. Um, Green fire lighter. That's good. Ooh, gained 35 unique items from easy clues. Nice. With this fire lighter, I can now burn some colored logs, which is another task. It's only 10 points. Could have came in clutch earlier, but it's nice. 16, 8, 10. Okay, what did that get us? Easy oh, I just completed 25 easy clue scores. That's only 10 points, though. Bit weird when we're getting so many points for the collection log slots and everything else. We're at 95 out of 100, and I've got one easy clue left to do. I just got a master clue as a reward from an easy clue. What the fuck? Kind of looking good. I might be able to complete this master clue. I've done two steps so far. I need to get to six. And I jinxed myself. The fifth step required a black dragon mask, which I hadn't gotten yet. All right, I'm on hard clues now because I'm out of easies. I'm pretty sure this is going to fill 100 collection log slots right now. Is it? Gain five unique items from a hard clue. Damn, I only got two items, actually. That's 40 points right there. And I must be at 99 out of 100. Yep. So one more clue and I'll get that big 80 point boost. But right now I'm at 16,860. Wait. Equip magic short bow, 80 points. Damn, I didn't even realize. I got it from a clue, dude. That's cracked. Okay, this casket should get us 100 collection log slots, which is going to get us over 17,000 points. I was really trying to catch Solo Mission and get a screenshot above him, but he just keeps jumping up every single time I do it. That gets me to 100 collection log slots, 17,020 points, rank 3. And I got the Black Dragon Mask, which I needed for the master, bro. I'm done. D-Boots ornament kit from a clue. That means I can go get a pair of D-Shoes for an 80-point task. Casket. Gives me a bonus reward casket as well. Oh shit, that's a lot of stuff. Ooh, gain 20 unique items from hard clues. That's like 80 points right there. I'm at 17,100. 
Ooh, I just filled it. What the hell? I am only 20 points away from taking over Solar Mission. Let's go get these 1 in 30 D boots and get it done. <gasps> we got the D shoes. Equip an ornament kit item. 80 points getting me to 17,260. Rank 2 and in front of Solo Mission. Now, rank 1 is over 1,400 points away. And while I probably should sleep, I'm going for it. Okay, that's the medium task done for obtaining an ecumenical key. 17,300 points now. Don't need to pick it up because I can't go to God Wars. All right, unfortunately, it did take me four elite clues to actually get this casket, but let's see what we got. Oh my god, gain a unique item from elite clues. I just got ranger gloves and the dragon full helm ornament kit. What the hell? That's 80 points right there, though. 17,380. I don't think elite clues are worth it right now because I haven't done two quests, which I need to do, which I'm just too lazy to do right now. So I'm going to go back to hard clues because they are really paying off for us. Another hard casket. I got a rune defender ornament kit and a rune plate body trimmed. Interesting. Oh, and I got a master clue. Oh shit, that's what's important. That is what's important. Ooh, I can do that. Boom. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to your bank for this one, I too. Just so. Come on. Completed a hard task, one master clue scroll. Completed a hard task, gain a unique item from a master clue scroll. That is huge for us. That is absolutely huge. What? How many points are we on? 17,540. Abyssal Demons. Oh, I can do Sire. All right, I got Abyssal Demons as a Slayer toss, so I'm going to go do a Sire kill count because it's going to give me a bunch of points. Okay, and I died, but I still got the toss done. Defeat a Slayer boss, defeat an Abyssal Sire. We'll take what we can get, you know? We're at what? 17,700 points? Good fight, you know? That was, a, that was a great fight. All right, we're back at Abbey Demons for about 100 KC or so. Clean an Avent. Oh, four, 40 points. Ooh, baby, a triple. All right, that's 25 superior Slayer encounters done for 40 points as well. I did think it was 80 points, but I'll take a 40 pointer. 17,780 right now. And we're probably going to open a bunch of these Lyrence keys after this task too. And I'm very, very close to 25 mil Mage XP as well. That's the Lyrence key I needed. Hopefully we pull a Dagonite piece when we go to open these because that's 200 points we desperately need. All right, we can switch back to defensive casting now because I just hit 25 million Mage XP, which is another 200 point task, getting me to 17,980. All right, that is that Slayer toss done. We're about to go open all these Lyrence keys. I need a Dagonite piece. Come on, pull some Dagonite. Pull some Dagonite, dude. Oh, 220 magic logs is not any Dagonite. Three room plate legs, not any dag. Oh my god, we got it! We got it. Dag and I hat. 200 points. Mythbro rank obtained. I got the dag and hat. I don't even know what to say right now. Dude, I got another. What? I got two dag and I pieces, dude. No way! Bro... Oh my god! No way! Dude, I only wanted one Dagon High piece. Getting the full set is absolutely crazy. That is absolutely crazy. That's 400 points I didn't expect. Rank 1 is actually obtainable. No way, I literally got another top. This is insane. Okay, and that is the Larynx chest. Open 50 times for another 80 points. I'm at 18,460 night right now. Rank one is 200 points away. Okay, and that is 100 U longs burnt, getting me another 80 points. I'm at 18,540 right now. I'm 100 points away. I am 100 points away from rank one. Okay, that's 75 fire making, which will allow me to burn a magic log. One magic log gives me 80 points right now, which puts me at 18,620, which means I'm 20 points away from being rank one. Okay, this food store is about to get me rank one. All right, and that is cook 100 lobsters. I have 18,660 points. I'm rank one. 40 minute long video, and I went from not even being on the top page to rank one in the entire game. I'm super happy, and if that doesn't get you to subscribe, I don't know what will. If you want to go to the extra step in supporting me this league's journey, go to ditterbitter.com and buy something from my merch. 
every purchase directly supports me. Thank you guys for watching the entire video if you made it this far, and make sure you subscribe once again, because I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.